many. Uh, said I'd probably start making some videos for you. And uh, so here it goes. Well, I'm uh, sitting at a pilot truck stop right now at uh, Circleville, Ohio. I'm uh, just now getting back up, fixing to uh, get everything situated, head on down to North Carolina. And uh, just thought I'd let you know a little bit about how my day went. Um, I got up pretty good this morning, took me a shower, got me something for lunch, and bought some movies here, but uh, I ain't watched none of them, probably, hell, ain't no telling when I'll watch them, hell, I buy movies and I set them back here in the bunk, and, you know, uh, they just sat there until I get around to watching them, I mean, there's ones I like to see, and I get them at the time I see them, so. Um, but anyways, and then later on, I got looking around, uh, what was, oh, yeah, I was straightening up my truck, and, uh, and I was listening to Al Jazeera News, and you know, I'll tell you what, people want to put down Al Jazeera News and everything, and say how they're such a communist news organization and a front for Al-Qaeda and all that. Well, I'll tell you one damn thing. I was sitting there listening to them and uh, they said something about riots and protests going on in uh, Lower Manhattan there at Wall Street. And uh, that how people were getting arrested and everything. They said it was today. Well, yesterday actually. And, uh, I thought, that's strange, I didn't hear nothing about it. But, uh, what was strange, though, was it wasn't so much that it was yesterday as they said that this protest had been, people had been camping out for this protest for the past, uh, week. And I thought to myself, now wait a minute, I know I don't watch the news all the time, but I do, I have watched uh, Brian Williams a couple times this week and you would think that a camp out something similar to uh, over in Cairo where they've taken up that square and everybody was camping out protesting and stuff something as big as that going on up in New York with Wall Street and shit you think every damn news organization would be camped out there with them, getting stories, and, but no. Look at the mother, if you look at the damn American news uh, organizations, I ain't, I ain't but, uh, let's see, what did I find? It was CBS, Fox News, and I, and I was on the internet, so that was a three paragraph damn story that could have been if you weren't looking, you'd have, it'd have been buried. And that nightly news with Brian Williams, I looked, I went back and looked at the past episodes for the week. Not one damn fucking mention of that damn protest and shit. They did say something about protests for uh, Troy Davis, but they didn't say anything about the damn three days before that about people protesting them for Wall Street and everything. So, I mean, you talk about trying to dumb American people down. Just look at our damn news organizations and what fucking stories they want to put out. You know, that's just like a damn... There was a story, I forget what it was. I had watched something a while back, maybe it was a year or so ago, Talking about the 2000 and shit, I don't even, well, it had to have been 2004 elections for President Bush, and they were talking about mass protests and shit in this country. Or, uh, no, they weren't talking about mass protests. They were talking about protests 
an arrest done in down uh, New York City. And you know something is something is is even though as news is lit illiterate as I am about the news and stuff, that would have been something that I'd have remembered seeing because they showed it. That, uh, I didn't see a damn thing about it. You know, I don't know. But anyways, <laughs> uh, this wasn't supposed to be no damn political rant or anything. It just happened that way. But anyways, I'm doing pretty good. I'm I'm uh, up. I got my laptop going over here, and fixing to get my uh, make sure all my paperwork's up to date and everything. I'm fixing to run on down there to North Carolina, drop these auto parts off, and probably go to the truck stop and see what wait and see what else kind of load they got for me. So, but anyways, I thought I'd give this a try see what's going to happen with it. So, I don't know. I'll talk to you later. Take it easy. Bye.